take 1057. That's hilarious, <laughs> by the way. Not far off. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Blooming Season at the Black Thumb Orchid House. I'm your host, the Black Thumb, and today we are going to be featuring this handsome guy right here. His name is Prince. Pretty self-explanatory because the, the flowers basically remind me of Purple Rain. So before I do the feature today, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Westerlay Orchids. Um, I, as many of you know, I'm a healthcare professional and I'm a physical therapist and I work in an outpatient wound care clinic at Keck Medical Center of USC. And I have been a frontline healthcare worker during the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. And it's been really humbling and truly amazing to um, to see all of the outpouring of support and love for healthcare providers and frontline workers and essential workers during this time. And Westerlay Orchid was one of numerous companies that provided and donated uh, certain supplies, tools, and resources uh, to help us get through this time a little easier. And so they donated several hundred orchids just like, just like Prince to our frontline healthcare workers. And so I just wanted to give a shout out to them before I do the feature. Now that I've done that, you may have also received a Westerlay Orchid working at Keck, or you may have gotten it as a gift from someone else during this time. It's very popular to get orchids as gifts during this time. And the questions you may be asking yourself is, well, shoot, what do I do or what can I do to make sure that this orchid thrives and looks well and it stays healthy? So number one, first thing you always want to make sure that you're doing consistently is watering. And so uh, in the future, I'm going to be doing some videos specifically on the foundational principles of, of self-care or the care of your orchids. But watering consistently at least once a week is going to be very vital and essential to the long-term health of your orchid and it will also impact the amount the amount of time that your orchid will stay um, flowering which is important so to maximize your flowering uh, times make sure you're watering consistently the other thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is that you're finding the right environment for your orchid so this particular orchid is a phalaenopsis aphrodite orchid and these orchids tend to like to be more so in the shade so i where i keep this orchid or where i keep prints is right outside of our balcony window where it gets some sunlight but more shade than sun but there's a nice a uh, cool breeze that can come through. We can leave our screen door open and there's a, a good fair amount of air circulation. The other piece to the environment uh, portion for orchids is some orchids really like to be in, hu in, in humid environments. So if you have, um, if your bathroom is in a place um, where it gets a fair amount of sunlight, uh, but you can also get some circulation there and you can use the steam from your showers to help create that humid environment and all, almost kind of replicating the natural habitat of this orchid since they're, they're mostly from Southeast Asia. So again, watering is key. And, on, and then after that, finding the right environment for your orchids. And then if you wanna just do like a little extra something on the top of it, make sure you talk to it, communicate with it, sing a song to it. There have been studies that have shown that talking to your plants uh, makes them happy and they perform a lot better and they grow at a faster rate. I've, I've even seen studies that say the female voice in like specifically actually can accelerate growth of orchids and plants in general as well. So that's all I have for you today. Again, I'm excited about Prince being in the collection. Thank you again, Westerlay Orchids, for your dedication to, to frontline workers and essential workers everywhere. And I hope this video was informative. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you hit me up. Black Thumb and out. Stay tuned for more episodes of Blooming Season.